have your right hand palm just on the right knee. So just cupping the right knee, the heel of the hand in contact with the right knee. And then just um, make some circles with the palm of the hand around the kind of the body of, of the knee. But um, keep the palm fully in contact with the knee. Okay? And so, of course, what we're doing here is just beginning to bring some nice movement into the wrist joint. You can perhaps feel how the elbow is part of that. And there's a little bit of movement in the shoulder. And then just reverse those circles. So just gentle movements, hand around the knee. And then bring the left hand to cup softly the left knee. So again, I've got the palm down, the heel of the hand down. And I'm just, so you might need to make the circle smaller so you can keep the palm in contact with the knee. That's fine. But then you can just explore how, how large can you make the circles, just provided you keep the contact. And then just reverse those circles. Okay, now, noticing how the movement travels through into the elbow and into the shoulder. Good. And then um, pause and then just interlace the hands softly, so softly, and see if you can bring the elbows together. And then just see if you can wrestle the wrists around each other, keeping the elbows together. Just by keeping the elbows together, it's kind of really asking us to find movement in the wrist. And then pause and change the interlace to your other interlace, so the other index finger is on top. You can just see if you can bring the elbows together and then loosely wrestle the wrists around each other. Okay. Just checking in, you're not suddenly tensing, tensing in the in the joint, uh, jaw, sorry. Good. And then please leave that alone. And then um, have your fingertips of the right hand just as so though they're just digging into the flesh. Or the, or the clothing. I'll come in a little bit closer just so you can see. So just dig, just the fingertips, just digging into the flesh a little bit. And then think of peeling down through the knuckles, through the knuckles, until the arm comes fairly straight and the wrist is sent away from you. And then peel the hand back, back. And then once more, just to say you're just digging in gently the nails into the flesh as you peel through the knuckles to send the wrist away from you and then peel back. I'm just going to do that once more, just gently peeling through the hand and then trying to articulate through each of those joints. And then bring your left hand again just to gently just as though you're just gathering the skin, skin towards you with the fingertips. Think of peeling, peeling down and then peeling back. So just gently digging in, peeling, sending the elbow away from you and then come back. Good. And one more time, just gently, good, and then come back, good. And then have your, have your, have your um, uh, thumb and index fingers together, just, uh, and all the fingers together, so thumb and index fingers are together. And then see, can you take away the little fingers, I'll bring it there, the ring fingers, the middle fingers, and then bring the middle fingers together, the ring fingers, and then the little fingers. So little fingers away first, ring fingers, middle fingers, bring the middle fingers back, the ring fingers, 
and then the little fingers. Just going to do that once more. Little finger, ring finger, next finger, bring the ring, a uh, uh, middle finger back, the ring finger, and then the little finger back, and then leave, leave that, uh, that a little bit. And then um, just bring the palms of the hands together. Okay. And then just think of taking the wrists, the hands a little bit to one side, come back, and then towards the other side, and then come back. Again, to one side, and back to the other side, and back. See if you can um, reach the, arm, the hands together in this prayer position towards the ceiling. And you can look up, letting the back extend gently, and then bring the palms down, letting the back round. So you're just reaching the hands up towards the ceiling, looking up, and then rounding the back to bring the hands down. And then the next time you take the hands up, look down. And then when you bring the hands down, look up. So as you take the hands up, you're looking down. And as you bring the hands down, you're looking up. And then come back to centre. And then just see if you can peel the left palm away from the right fingers and palms and then come back. And then peel away the heel of the hand of the other arm and then come back. So once more, left peeling away and then come back and then right peeling away and come back. Good. And then just see if you can point the fingers down towards the floor and then see if you can point them towards you. So notice how I'm rounding my back to do that. And then I think of pointing the fingers down towards the floor and then towards me, letting my back round, good, and then release. And then just have the hand softly, and just wave through the fingers, wave through the fingers, good, once more. And then bring your right hand forward, turn the thumb side down, bring your other hand forward, turn that thumb side down, and then just interlace the hands super softly and see if you can bring the hands towards the chin and away from you. So just towards the chin and then away from you. And then aim the hands towards one shoulder and then away and then towards the other shoulder and then away. And then pause and flip the hands over so it's the other interlace. And then once more, see if you can bring the hands towards the chin or the mouth or the nose and then away. Just a few movements like that. Good. And then bring the hands towards one shoulder and away and then towards the other shoulder and then away. Good. And then just release the hands once more.